not always we find the right time to do what we wish to do. I always want to share my thoughts with you. I always want to talk to you to have my special time of sharing my thoughts with you. But not always you can find that time between all the obligations and the holy things that the Creator puts in your plate. But I want to just think with you on this crazy topic. People today are talking about the age of the earth. Some people are saying that the world been created by itself seven billion years ago and whatever. Everyone with his silly assumption that he developed in his uh, 70 years of research. And uh, my kids many times asked me is dinosaurs are a real thing that really exist in the world or not? And like, I know that many religious people are doubting it or at least putting all the effort to doubt it. They don't want to deal with it. But like, you can see that there are bones, like skeletons been found underground. You don't want to just like be stupid and shut your head um, down to the ground and ignore reality of like, scientific facts of having those bones and skeletons in the ground so what you're gonna do with those opinions that are claiming to demand us to approve billions of years of development so we know that the Torah is telling us that the world exi exists 6,779 years, right? If I'm not wrong. And that's it. So how are you going to make peace between those two opinions? So I am taking all this huge amounts of knowledge and details and information and I'm just like putting it behind my back and walking forward to live my life calmly and happily without getting into all those questions and doubts and, and, and nonsense because in reality I am sure and I know it for a fact in 100% that the Creator created the world from complete nothing and he just made it to be. And now, if he put some illusions or if he made this world look like that it had been created billions of years earlier, I don't mind. I don't know exactly what's, what's the idea behind all of that. Only thing that I know for sure is that Torah is truth and that the words of the real prophets are all words of truth. And I'm not doubting the existence and the truth of the Torah because of some scientific investigations and assumptions. I'm just able to hold in my mind two facts that seems as a contradiction, but because that my mind is desiring peace, I'm able to say that the Creator is that one that is able to make things to look in certain ways and I'm just not falling from those things that I see into doubts and not being skeptic about the simple faith in the Creator and in the truth of the Torah that says that maximum 7,000 years will pass before the real Mashiach will come and redeem the world and will transfer us all to a world that is all Shabbat and relaxation and happiness and glory and beauty and health and happiness and joy and all good wonderful things that exist and installed inside nature. As a person I do believe that those gigantic animals were walking on earth 
but when it happened and how did it happen it's none of my business and I don't want to waste my time thinking on those things except of knowing that the Creator he has all the powers to make this world look in any way he wants and to those ones that are doubting him they can fall in the trap of lack of faith and to fall to the lowest places of them all but for me the simple way is to know that it's all from him and that he made this world in this fantastic way out of complete nothing out of complete emptiness and he made the grass be green and the sky be blue bright blue the sun to shine and the moon to illuminate the darkness to make wonderful people like you and me walking on earth speaking sharing their thoughts and their 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 faith and i bless you all to have an inner peace that will give you the ability to fit all people opinions and all people ideas and all people conversations into their place without shaking and doubting your inner faith and your inner understanding about what's the real meaning of life what's the real purpose of life what's our goal and what is the great potential of us as holy souls to reveal godliness to the universe and to make the world a happier and a better place have a wonderful 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 moment with the creator that will expand to eternal life of true happiness joy and satisfaction amen